like the whole setup for WrestleMania four uh, was brilliant. The the you know the rematch with Hogan and Andre from WrestleMania three, first time wrestling's on live network television since the nineteen fifties. The story is Hogan and Andre, but the the sub story is me purchasing Andre to beat Hogan and and, and he's gonna sell me the belt, which was the setup for WrestleMania four. Initially at WrestleMania four it was thought, well, you know, we'll 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 find a way for Ted to, you know, buy buy the title or, you know, somehow screw Hogan out of it or whoever out of it. And uh but then it was Pat Patterson who said to me, he said, Ted, he says, think about this for a minute. He said, Let's say you don't win at WrestleMania four. He says, Because in reality the way we're pushing you, that's what everybody expects to happen. And uh he says, let's say it backfires on you, and in your arrogance, you create your own title. And as soon as he said it, I went, that is brilliant. I mean, that'll put a... So now I'm going to have this, you know, like the, the, the million-dollar belt, and I'm going to parade this belt around and declare myself the champion, and nothing could have put more heat on me. And it was... It really was a stroke of genius, and uh, we had a lot of fun with it. Uh, and I, you know, and I tell people, they go, "Aren't you sad that you were never the world champion?" And I said, "Oh well, it would, it would have been nice." I said, "But reality is, I mean, wrestling's a business, and 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 titles are props. They're a prop. You know, some guys need a prop, other guys don't. You know, so I, I didn't need the world title to get over and be a major heel." 